this the continuation of the series of the basic full body uh, self trigger release points. Um, this is video 16, and in video 16 we're going to focus on the pectoral muscles as well as the serratus muscles, serratus anterior to be exact. Um, it's a very the serratus muscle is a very interesting muscle. Um, it's not a muscle that most people would know. Um, I always call it the, uh, um, the bodybuilding muscles because you only really see it in bodybuilders or people that are really, really uh, lean um, and muscular because it's, it forms, basically the muscles you see are the three or four lines that come in on the side. Um, the serratus anterior muscle is very important in it helps you to get your arm up because it actually attaches on to the inside of the shoulder blade. So if your shoulder blades are like this on your back, it comes around from the ribs, attaches on the inside, and it actually pulls your scapula around. So as you're lifting your arm up, your scapula has to move in order to lift your, your um, shoulder uh, uh, joint in order for you to go all the way up. So it's very important for shoulder, shoulder mobility. The problem with this muscle is if it gets very tight, um, it can cause us to round and to stay in that rounded position, and then it can actually hamper your shoulder mobility, causing shoulder, neck issues, so it's a very important uh, muscle, as all the muscles are important, but it's a very important muscle for releasing shoulder and neck tension. Um, so I'll start with the pectoral muscles first. I, I, the reason why I do them together is because they pretty much, they, they get trained together. Uh, when you do chest exercises, you'll do serratus exercises without even knowing. When you do serratus exercises, you'll do chest exercises without even knowing. Generally, people won't even focus on uh, serratus muscles. Only very few people that are in the know will focus on that muscle as a muscle on its own. But I would like to highlight this muscle to people that don't know about it and, and show them how to release it. But we're going to start with the pectoral muscle. Obviously, it's your big chest muscle. You get two. You get your pec major and minor. I'm not going to get in too much detail there today, but we're going to just go and do the, the release of the pec. So uh, easy release is as you stand there, so we're going to release the left side of the pec, we're going to take the right hand and just put it on the pectoral muscle which attaches into the into the humerus and into the shoulder here and then comes in from the breastbone here so it's a very it's quite a big muscle um, and in ladies as well because of the of the gland you often don't focus on your pectoral muscle but it's it's still there it's the same muscle um, it's it's a very powerful muscle even though it's not as 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 big as it is in in, in men, uh, you don't see the muscle as much in the ladies as in men, uh, only in really, really trained ladies. But it doesn't matter, just because the muscle is not overdeveloped, it doesn't mean that it's not strong. And that can cause a lot of rotation and a lot of uh, upper neck and shoulder issues. So what you're going to be doing is basically just get your four fingers into the muscle and give it a little bit of a release. Then what I like to do is to get the arm up into a 90 degree angle, pull it in so that the elbow is facing in front of you, then you do a little bit of a grab of the muscle and then stretch back. This is a very, very good trigger as well as a fascial stretch of the pectoral muscle. That's a great way to release it. Great, that's the pectoral muscle. Now into the serratus muscle. The serratus muscle is quite difficult to get hold, to, hold of with your hand because you have to go right the way across. But what I like to do is have my hands using my thumbs, so fingers pointing straight, thumbs up, then you kind of rotate in and you grab hold of the serratus muscle right under the arm here. That's one good way of just stimulating it and then getting it released. The reason why they call it the serratus muscle is because it's, it's attached at the ribs and it almost forms, if you look at it, it forms like a serration. Uh, it, like, it looks like a serrated knife. That's why they call it the serratus anterior. Anterior just means it's in the front because you get back serratus muscles as well. And that also help with breathing. So it's, it's all in the ribs here. So you feel like it's just ribs, but you want to go all over there and release there. Another good way of doing it is to grab the hand across the body onto that area, similar to like we did with the lats, but it's slightly not, the lats are slightly more around. The serratus muscle is more underneath and on the ribs here. So you want to just grab up there, and then what you can do is lower your arm so it's about a 90 degree angle. As you grab there, you're going to kind of pull medially towards the middle line of the bottle of the body and then just stretch up so pull and stretch up that just helps to give a nice fascial stretch great so that's pectoral muscle and serratus muscle with the hands now we're going to take you through how to release it with the tool so obviously the tools like we've done the whole series um, generally i use a cricket ball you can use a hockey ball a trigger ball you get softer uh, cricket balls it's like a practice cricket ball um, you can use a golf ball Pretty much just for smaller areas, I wouldn't use that for this. 
You get the foam roller that you can use. Um, with the serratus, it's quite good. You can get it against the wall and get in there with it. But for today's video, I'm going to show you the cricket ball. And of course, you've got the gym towel that you can put the cricket ball in. I've got another cricket ball in my gym towel. And if I need to hold on to it, um, or, I don't, or I'm scared to mark the wall, I can put it into a towel. But for this uh, video, like with the others, I'm, I'm sticking with my cricket ball. So first, we're going to go into the chest. So now you're going to be facing the wall with this. So you're going to put the ball in the area of the chest that you want to focus on. And then I'm going to slightly tilt towards the camera, but what you want to do is basically face the wall. And um, as you face the wall, you're going to get in, in there. Remember always the stable base of support and make sure that the muscles are holding the body's weight and not the joints. Now the ball's against the wall and now you can kind of just roll a little bit just to kind of find a spot. If you find a good spot, kind of just relax into it for like uh, two to three seconds, not too long. Um, another good way of doing it is actually to, so I'm going to back off the wall just to show you. So imagine the wall, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning against the wall in that position. Now what you can do is kind of like slightly activate the chest muscle by pulling your, your shoulder in towards the wall. And, and then as you relax back, you can lean into the wall. So pull in that activates the muscle. And then as you relax, you push a little bit harder into the wall. That, that will get deeper into the muscle. That's the pick. Now, similar position for the serratus anterior with the cricket ball. You're just going to now slightly open up a little bit to get it under there. So you're lifting the arm up as well to get right under the arm, under the chest, and then you're going to get right in there. Just got to watch. Don't get too close under the arm. There are some lymph nodes in here. You're pretty, I'd be very surprised if you get hold of a lymph node. But if you find a very sharp burning sensation, back off. It should never be too sharp, too burning, too painful. Anything that's too much, back off and, and, and try again and find a good trigger point. And just go in there and then you can, again, you can do that, that movement similar to what we did with the lats. Um, get right in there. And then what I also like to do is bring the arm down as low as you can. And remember the base of support and all that, very important. Get the arm nice and low and then just kind of add some movement. Then you, you find a spot, add some movement. Movement is key, as in all of the triggers that I've shown you. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.